Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the new features of OpenSQL and in the previous videos we studied that we can apply the aggregate functions in the query itself. So firstly I showed you by using collect statement then in the query itself, we use the aggregate function. We took the requirement and I use the aggregate function sum. So firstly, I showed you by taking one column, then I took multiple column. If you are taking multiple column and you are not specifying in the group by, you will get a syntax error. And on the columns on which you are applying the aggregate function, you need to take the alias for the same. Now we will further go for one requirement here. Now what customer is saying, suppose, as of now, suppose if I am running this program, customer is giving some date and we are getting the result. Now what customer is saying, I want to control this output based upon the amount. Suppose if customer is saying, if I am giving thousand, so it should only only display those records where the amount is greater than thousand. Suppose customer is saying, if I will give 50,000, so I only want to see those records where the sum is greater than 50,000. Suppose if I'm giving the amount 1 lakh, so I only want to see those records where the sales, where the amount of sales order is greater than 1 lakh. This is what customer want. So what I will do? Firstly, I will take a parameter on the screen because customer will put an input of the amount so I will take a input. I will go for single value. Suppose I am saying P underscore N E T W time. I will go for data element of N E T W R. I'll check from the table itself. This is the data element type. I will simply activate and provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I will choose DDIC reference. Okay, net value or we will, okay, net value is okay, no problem. Now, now in this particular query, we are making some of NETWR column based upon ER dat and VB type. Suppose now, as of now, I will remove VB type because I already showed. Now I will remove VB type. We are making some of amount based upon creation date only. Now, as of now, it is showing everything. Okay, I'll just remove this also because now. We do not have. Okay. Now, as of now, it is showing everything. It is making some of amount based upon creation date. Now, what customer is saying, if customer is putting this particular net value, then it should only only display those records which are greater than that net value. Now, how, how I will put a where condition here. Now we will go for which clause having clause. Very important. And in the interview, many people will ask you, okay, now you want to filter that data based upon some condition. So what you used at that point of time in this new syntax. So you used having clause. So I'm writing having sum of NETWR. I will put space here. So it will only only display those records where sum of this amount is greater than. What is your field on the screen? 
PEP underscore NET term. Now you all know I will get the error because this is your host variable. All host variable must be prefixed with at that end because it is also a data object because it has the data. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, firstly, suppose I will show you the output now. I will go for, suppose we will make this field as obligatory. It is compulsory that customer will put the value. We are making these two fields obligatory, mandatory. So compulsory customer will put, I am going for running. Suppose I will put date 20th August to 22nd August. Suppose thousand. Customer only want to display those records where the amount is greater than thousand. I will go for execute. I will go for X stock three most preferable X stock. Now, if I will simply execute this, now you can see in this internal table, we have only one record and where the amount is greater than 1000, 1 lakh 5000. Now, if I will show you table, table has more records, but it filtered. Suppose if I will go for 20th to 22nd August, you can see we have total seven records, but amount, sum of amount, where it is greater than 1000, it is only only for this 20th August. For 20th August, 22nd, 21st August, it is zero. For 22nd August, it is equal to 1000. It is not greater than 1000. So SAP is not displaying this. SAP is simply, simply displaying this because we put where sum of amount is greater than 1000. You can see. Suppose if I will go for one more case. Suppose customer is saying five greater than five. Now it will show you this particular date also. It will show you now 22nd August also. Because for 22nd August, it is thousand. I will execute. Now you can see we have two records. If I will simply run, we got this thousand also. This is just real project product works on this kinds of requirement. The best part is in the query itself from the database, you are bringing to those data which are required. You are not filtering data onto application layer after that. This is the main advantage or main features of new in main advantage of new features of open SQL. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you, yes, how we can filter that data, how we can filter or how we can filter the data based upon some condition. So what we took the requirement that customer will put a amount on the screen and we will only display those records where amount is greater than that particular value. So how we can filter in the query? We have to use a having clause and put we put having some of this field is greater than that particular screen value. So the, after that, I simply made the fields obligatory. So it is compulsory to put the values of this and we got the expected result. So this is all we applied the aggregate functions in this particular query. So that's it in this video. Thank you.